Hey guys, today I'm playing a game called Burning Daylight. This should have some slight similarities to games like uh, Limbo and Inside, but with much less puzzle elements. Uh, you can play this game for free if you are interested, so I'll put the link in the description. Uh, let's see if I can actually use my controller with this game. Okay. Aha. The controller is working. What am I looking at? Oh, I can move. So, where the hell are we? It's full of dead people, I think. Yeah. And machines. What is this place? God That's creepy. Let's leave. Oh. They are smashing people. This is some sort of fucking giant slaughterhouse. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the guy's covering his eyes. Whoa. Let's uh, not get sucked into that machine there. Someone is hanging from a hook. God damn. Well, this really is a dystopian setting. No doubt about that. Whoa. Yeah, let's leave. We should get some clothes. Let's see what's this. Ah. This door is closed. Mm, I guess I unlocked this door by pressing that switch. Let's see what's behind it. Nutriman. Is that uh is that the company responsible for the... for... Grinding people up? Are they serving people here? Is this a vegan power fantasy? Might be. Ooh, what does this button do? Alright, that's better. 
get some lights in here. Whoa! No, thank you. So he has some kind of a tattoo on his chest. And it looks like he's surprised by it. Yeah, let's not get caught by that uh, claw thing. I'm pretty sure I know how that would end. What's this? Oh, we can pull this. Ah, I see. There's a crack in the window. Maybe we can... Yep, we can smash it. That tube must be where we're going. Come on, one more. One more good push. Let's do it. Boom. There we go. You know, going into tubes like this is not very safe. We can end up in a grinder or something. Damn. So what the hell is happening in this world? Yeah, this really does remind me of Inside. I see the similarities. <laughs> yeah, it's the same symbol, Nutriman. So they are responsible. for whatever is going on in there. Are they really serving up people for other people to eat? Looks like it. Oh, who is this guy? Is he friendly? And what's on his head? Like a VR device. He shouldn't be standing right beneath that, uh, what is it, a speaker or a washing machine? I think it's a speaker. Can't really, can't really tell. Yeah, be careful, come on. Whoa. He will provide. It looks like a Chinese dragon of some sorts, with three eyes. Oh! I guess there's some glass shards on the floor we can't progress. We need shoes. What the fuck was that? Oh! Oh shit! What did I tell you? Come on! He's still alive, I think. Can I help him? Oh, we're taking his shoes. That's right. That's cold. Now we can cross the glass. And what is this? An elevator. All right. With elevator music too. Cute.
guess they're showing us the scale of this place. It's pretty big. And impressive. didn't break down, luckily. No, oh, it's cold here. So, some graffiti. This guy. Don't put your fingers in the ventilator, in the fan. Come on. Can we talk to him? No. And he has one of those uh, VR things on his head again. What are those? Okay, I, I don't see where I'm going. Come on. And this guy is also not responsive. So far this is pretty impressive. I think this game was made by students as a project or something. So it's not it's not bad at all. What are those VR things? Are they mind controlled? Or what? Let's see. Okay, let's climb up, maybe. Oh, let's take the clothes. Good God. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. At least we have a sweater now. Welcome to lower level, industrial facilities, section 61-62. Huh, this graffiti. A skull that looks like an apple. Or... yeah, I think it's an apple. Whoa. Who are you? A drone of some sort. No escape. Oh. This place is enormous. Oh my god. Whoa. And barely... Barely functioning. Jump up. Yep. They're all like hypnotized with those by those devices. Okay, this door's closed. They're like zombies or something. Completely unresponsive. It might be one of those things that uh all these people are trapped inside of uh, some kind of a virtual reality and they don't really see how bad the world is 
has become. Snake eating its tail. Hmm. This is some cool graffiti, but... Uh, is there any significance? That's a symbol that's tattooed on our chest. Well, don't just fall down. Oh my god. Look where you're going. Yeah, so that was the symbol on our chest and also the symbol that is on our sweater. Yeah, you can see it here. So what does that mean? This is just a giant industrial level, oh my god. Great. Someone drowned. Aha, we can drain the water. What's this? Make sure no one sees us. Huh. Well, don't put it on your head, oh my god. Maybe it's a brainwashing device of, of some sort. He just puts it on. It's not really what I was expecting from this device, but uh, let's see. My guess is that... Uh, yeah, most of the people are using these devices and those who escape are are kind of like rebels or something putting the graffiti warning people maybe what's this Stop patronizing me. Wow, thanks. I need that motivation in my life. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Well, this, this stuff. nutritious, delicious, and vegan. Ha. <laughs> My guess was not very off. So this place is a bit different. This is like the civilian sector. Yep, vegans have gone crazy. Well, more crazy. What the hell? Is that a club or something? Whoa. Well, that's creepy. They're acting like drones. You are so clumsy. That's what you get from 
skipping morning gymnastics. Huh. Gymnastics. Interesting. So, those people in the slaughterhouse, they were all fat, I think. So are they killing anyone that's uh, fat and unhealthy? Or overweight, I mean? We are almost home. It uh, might be the case, but for what reason? Well, for food, maybe. Almost home. Well, not here. Which 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 uh, which container is mine? This one, maybe? Yep, looks like it. Now plug me in, baby. Yeah. I don't want to. You're evil, I think. The charging technology has advanced in this world. Hey there! I'm juiced up and ready to go out and enjoy the day. By the way, I'm your special augmented reality assistant. But you can just call me Sarah. Consider me your personal companion and your gateway to life inside our glorious tower. Yeah. So this is how other people are seeing the world. It's much more colorful and less depressing. And there's your pants, get your pants, get your pants. Okay, not naked anymore. That might be an improvement. Uh, less penis in my face. So nothing here. What is this? What? Coins? So what are they appealing to people's... Like short attention spans or whatever? Making everything like a game? Let's hit the town and collect some coins! Yeah, looks like it. Are there any coins back here? Okay, I guess not. Yeah, it looks a bit different now. A lot of holograms everywhere. Camera's always watching. Hmm. I think I've sustained a bit of water damage. My translation configuration is all messed up. Sorry about that. Outside, gas storms and acid rains. Inside, 23 degrees. Huh. Gas storms and acid rain. Many languages looks like, uh, yeah. So I guess the big question. You are. Yeah, thank you. Not a dog. So I'm guessing the big question here is: Are they lying about the weather outside? I guess we are in some kind of uh, dome city or something. Are they lying about the weather outside and keeping people in prison here? That's a common trope in 
sci-fi. This looks pretty cool, I must admit. Highlight or high life. Sunshine every day. And this we can't read. What are you talking about? No shit. Vegan Monopoly. Like this? That's creepy. Insufficient funds, dang it. Well, you heard the commercial. Punch, punch, punch. Really? You're punching this guy? Uh well done, baby! And that bonus is all we need to get through that door. Interesting. Maybe this is a way to, like, get rid of uh, unwanted people, like, set them up against each other. There we go. Well, this city is grand. And this dome. Or maybe we are under... underground. Very Blade Runner-esque, this game. That's a nice theme song. I don't see any sunshine though. Okay, let's go. Enough of that theme song. Cameras watching me again. Nutricola. And I wonder what's that made of. Join in. 
if we can. Well, this is pretty fucked up. Twenty-four hour recharging stations. One hour, hundred uh, prowler coins. I can't really tell what that word is. Prowler coins, I think, or provider coins. Yeah. Well, we don't need it. Interesting, yeah. So be happy, be happy, buy more things, well done. kill unwanted people. I'm getting all the coins because I'm a good boy. Maybe, uh, I just realized something, maybe the cherry guys are people without the VR devices. Maybe they're like automatically marked in the system as people who need to be dealt with, let's say. Here's one. That might be. Yeah, thank you. There was that one guy, uh, the other, other people were punching. I didn't really look at his face, if he did, did he have the device on him or not. I'm not sure. Ooh. Yes, please do. So, red light district. Hmm. Let's check out this... Uh... Oops. Can I go in here? Yeah, I don't think so. This looks very cool. Oh, he's not letting me. Pick a girl. Like to watch. <laughs> um, Frank, what are we doing here? We should go back to the sexy place. No, There's we should. This way. Yeah, I'm sure. No, we should actually leave. We're not 
Yeah, I know what you're doing. You want me to... You want me to have sex and consume products. No, thank you. No hiddenism for me. I guess we're back in the... Back in the system, back in the... Back behind the scenes. Fuck. Are they worshipping the claw? And sacrificing people? I see religious symbols, I see Christian, Jewish, uh, Arab religions. So what are they trying to say here? I'm not sure. Uh, what are the... What are they implying here? These people are without their VR headsets. Hmm. Some Chinese uh, masks. Only, I think. What is that thumping sound? That symbol again. What's happening here? They are connected to this machine. Should we be going here? It's uh, it looks unsafe. We're following that symbol again. The last time it didn't end well. What? that mean? Is he the chosen one? It's a bit confusing here. Yeah, let's just jump down in this... Uh... Oh, it is safe after all. I thought it's a, it's a hole filled with like molten metal or something. Did not look safe. What was that all about? We plugged ourselves into the machine and destroyed it. Is this the, the only guy that could have done it because he has the symbol? 
on him? Or what? And what was it? He does not want to go there. Maybe because it's dark? Let's see it again. Oh, there's a switch maybe here? Yeah, there is. It's a giant warehouse. Maybe the Ark of the Covenant is here. Again, this symbol. A bunch of skeletons here. Finally, some trees. Is that daylight? Maybe it really is all a lie. Maybe the outside world is habitable. So peaceful here. some sorts Yep, let's close these. Looks like they are giant archives of... Uh, of something. Maybe like Noah's Ark or something, like... Uh, genetic storage. A jellyfish? Humans and pods.
Is that me? Or someone similar to me? Has the same symbol. Let's see. Whoa. Well, that did something. Did I kill him or just wake him up? I flushed him. What's happening? I'm stuck. He doesn't want to go there. Is it a glitch or what? Yeah, he's not going. Oh, now he's going. Okay. It's weird. The movement is a bit glitchy in this game, but uh, the rest of the things are looking good. I want ans I need answers. Because it looks like sunlight. This is, is this a dome of some sorts? I think that's me. He's old and weak. Did he just die? I have some apples here. Ending. I didn't check the chair. I wonder if it's a choice. We either take an apple or take the chair. I'm not sure. But I think the story is that that was my clone, or the original me, and he's controlling all this, uh, all those machines, and I was revived to replace him. Maybe. I'm not really sure interesting but looks like the world is not uh, uninhabitable anymore 
Well, anyway, this was an interesting experience. And if you want to check it out, yeah, check, my, check the link in the description. So, thanks for watching and see you next time.